this video, I just wanted to talk some more about what's going through my head, where I keep thinking about Yeshua saying that the kingdom, does he say the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God? But anyways, won't come by observation. And then he says, the kingdom of God is within you. And I keep thinking about that. Like what it means. I know that his message seems to be, you know, like for us to forgive people, to treat others how we would want to be treated, and to care about, you know, the widows and the orphans and the poor, and to not be a hypocrite which I'm definitely guilty of being a hypocrite quite a bit in my life. I mean, I try not to be, but, you know, definitely. But I don't know, like, it's confusing, like, but I, I feel like that's really important. And I, it's weird, though, because he's quoted as saying something to the effect of, you know, like, giving this, you know, when they ask about, things are gonna be and what's the sign of the end of the age or something like that um, you know he gives these serious events that seem to be observable so I'm confused I'm thinking he must have been talking about two separate things and maybe in Matthew 24 it's you know mainly talking about the bad stuff that's gonna happen before the new heaven and new earth happen. I think a lot about the third and fourth generation and maybe that has something to do with the resets that people are talking about in videos, you know, like with the whole old world building thing and orphan trains and all that stuff. I think definitely things are not as we think they are. I think we've been lied to so much and I think like the main thing is I guess that we focus, at least I focus, on the sayings of Yeshua, you know, like trying to treat others how I would want to be treated. I talk in, I think it's my Lost Sheep Being Found you know, series where I talk about before 2022, I had like gotten so vile in my personality and just in my bitterness. I was in a bad relationship, a bad marriage, and I had turned into like this monster that was just the vile things I said to him. I mean, he definitely was pushing me towards insanity, but I just, I should have just left him. Like I should have just left him. I kept trying to leave, but I just turned into this horrible monster where I like, just the amount of evil that came out of my mouth and I would, that's why in 2022 I would just was so concerned not just that just I was just as a person like I my level of you know justifying my sins were just like crazy I just really you know just really fallen so far and so, I mean, I'm still struggling with a lot of things, you know, I still fade, I still lose my temper sometimes, I just, you know, I still sometimes harbor hatred in my heart for people, and, you know, I'm trying to work on those things, but, I don't know, it just feels like, I feel like the key thing is, is just us to show kindness as much as possible. And again, I'm still working on that. I get all angry when I'm watching these videos about the genocide, like, you know, like, and then I'm wondering, like, okay, you know, what, you know, when should I speak out and be enraged and when should I, you know, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I'm confused. I think I feel a responsibility to speak out because I was so deceived by political Zionism for so long and just the stuff I put on my social media, all these Israeli flags and which I feel now is like some kind of pagan symbol and just so much 
Yet I never looked into the side of the Palestinians. That's why I feel like a responsibility to, well, not just that, there's a genocide going on. Like if I was in Nazi Germany, you know, in America, and I knew about it, I would like feel like horrible if I didn't speak out about it. But so it's just sometimes I get confused on like, so that I feel like I have a responsibility to speak out for. But like when I see, other things like sometimes I'm like wondering like you know I think I just should focus on you know I don't know just sometimes I think I'm too outwardly focused on like what's going on in the world what's happening on the news like I'm on the internet way too much looking stuff up and I don't know, like right now, instead of doing these videos, it just dawned on me, I really should call my former co-worker, a couple of them that I could call and ask them how they're doing, or like, you know, my son's other grandmother, like I should call her and see how she's doing, you know, so, in fact, I should probably do <laughs> at least one of those things right now, so I think I'm going to end this video, but yeah, like... Anyways, I keep thinking about that. The kingdom of God or heaven. I can't remember how it says. I think I once looked it up. And I think sometimes it might be the same Greek word used. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Well, it shouldn't really be the same Greek word because one's saying God and one's saying heaven. Anyways, but this idea that it won't come with observation. So that's really interesting. Like that one... That verse is especially interesting to me, along with the one I talk about in my one of my most recent videos, and I know I've talked about it more than once, that, you know, you don't hear Christians quote much about how Yeshua says we can be his brother, sister, or mother. I think he says if we do the will of the Father. So, you know, and I know why they don't quote that, because then they'll have to think about, well, who is Jesus, who is Yeshua really saying he was? You know, because a lot of times in our modern day, like, you know, there's this whole theology that is made about him that I don't know in my heart. I don't think he's really saying about himself. You know, I mean, there's some verses you can say, well, maybe he's saying that about himself. And there's some verses in the Hebrew Bible that make me think, well, maybe that's what it's saying. But, you know, I tend to go round and round in circles trying to understand, you know, and... But that one verse, I know God is above me. You know what I mean? I am not equal to God. I am not, I am not like his sibling. You know what I mean? So I feel like there's a reason that Christians don't quote that. It's because it gives them cognitive dissonance and they have to really think about, well, wait a minute, what is Jesus, what's Yeshua really saying? Like, what is he teaching? Has things been added to the Bible? Have thing, you know, was a sentence here or there added? You know, like what, you know, who had control of these scriptures for so long? I mean, not that I don't think like that God can't make it so that certain things can't be messed with. I have this theory that the fallen angels and, you know, corrupt mankind are not allowed to mess with certain scriptures. I really believe that in my heart like there's a line that they're not allowed to mess with because I do believe God you know makes it so that those scriptures are available I do think there might be lies added kind of like the tree of knowledge of good and evil that we're warned about I think I mean that's just my theory I could be totally wrong it's just that I know in my heart God doesn't want me to go kill another an Amalekite child, you know what I mean? Like, there's things, like, look how that verse has been used by the Zionist regime to justify their genocide. Like, when it all started, like, look look how they used that verse. And remember, the kings of Israel and Judah, some of them were participating in child sacrifice and do mixing a lot of Canaanite religion with like the worship of the true God and you know like so like who's to say they haven't added or subtracted from the Bible because like even in the Torah there's like commandment 
not to add and not to subtract. So like, why would that be there unless possibility that it, things could be added or subtracted? That's why I feel like Yeshua was sent was so that, you know, like that we could, you know, have the true gospel message. I mean, I'm not saying I've made up my mind on certain things because I pray like just about every day, you know, God, please, you know, teach me about, you know, like what's all this going on with the blood stuff, you know, like it's confusing. You know, there's a verse in the Hebrew Bible about how you didn't want, you never asked for sacrifice. Why would it be considered good for Abraham to be willing to kill his son? for you, like things that are, just don't feel like they're adding up. And I mean, I know like in the account, like he's prevented from it. And then people say, oh, well, that's because that's foreshadowing of Yeshua, you know, what he's doing. And I'm not saying that that isn't the case. Like I literally am confused. Like I literally am confused. I don't want to lead anyone astray because I already feel guilty about that video I did in 2015. Thanks to the apologetic online teachings of the rabbis. So, the kingdom of God is within you. I feel like that's really deep. And I don't think it means like we're God at all. I know that doesn't mean that at all. But, you know, because everyone's like waiting for, you know, all this killing to happen so that their temple can be, you know, he, you know what I mean? And they can be like, oh, we're the good people. Like, you know, all these different sides are like all, you know, forgetting about the little kids, you know? The one, you know, the one right now, like the huge genocide that is, you know, oh, they're forgetting about those little kids. You know, while they're thinking about their temple, they want to be built. And then, you know, one thing I want to point out is you know like the disgusting thing where like suicide bombers are now being like saying oh we're gonna re restart the whole suicide bombing thing from the other side like that's sickening that's like you guys started to get like people to realize your true cause you know so like for that leadership why are they doing that like that's the whole reason i ignored the palestinian side and never bother to look into it is one reason it's because of all those suicide bombings i was like oh well they can't possibly be the correct side on this issue you know and i realized i was totally ignoring the whole horrible oppression that the palestinians were going through never researched it because I was, you know, hearing in the news about suicide bombings, you know, where people, innocent people were being blown up. I'm sure kids died. So why is it okay in some situations, but not okay in others? Like one kid is just as important as 40,000 kids. But at the same time, and trust me, like, I'm on you guys' side about this genocide thing. Like, like it's evil it's wicked it's it's disgusting the genocide that's being done and shows how wicked the zionism you know political thing is but the suicide bombings are wicked too innocent people innocent people are dying and those kind of things and trust me who am i to talk because my government is funding all this stuff probably on both sides in different ways. I would not be surprised how sickening the CIA is and all that. So like, you know what I mean? Like, and anyways, it's a, it's a real sad world. We definitely need the Messiah, Yeshua, and you know, we definitely need God Almighty.